Along the Cape Arago Highway, discover a collection of sights and sounds that will inspire, excite, and motivate your travels on the south coast near Charleston. Our home on the road is a perfect fit at a campground that takes the breath away, Sunset Bay State Park. Sunset Bay has this beautiful bay that's protected, scenic. It's good for some light beach combing, tide pooling, um, some light surfing, paddle boarding, just dipping your toes in a pretty chilly Pacific. The nearby campground offers nearly 140 campsites during a fall season that park manager Preston Phillips says is often overlooked. Kind of that time and period where the weather is still good for camping, uh, not the heart of winter, nice quiet campground, very mature, obviously very mature trees. Uh, we have yurts for folks that want a kind of camping light, uh, full hookup sites, water electric, so just tent sites as well, and even a hiker biker camp for folks who are just passing through on a journey. Just two miles to the south, Oregon's only Botanical State Park is gorgeous any time of year, but even more inviting this fall when something special gets underway. We started with 6,000 lights. 6,000 lights and one Christmas tree. As we doubled every year until we got up to about 150,000. Then we started going up by 50s. <laughs> the holiday lights at Shore Acre State Park is back. A community fixture since the 80s. And today, those 6,000 lights have grown to more than 300,000. A small volunteer army goes to work after Halloween and brings the show to life each night from Thanksgiving through New Year's Eve. This is a touchdown. This is where community comes and it's a tradition. They know it's going to be here every year and they can be a part of it. 24 miles east of Coos Bay, you become part of the Glen Creek watershed where a protected old growth myrtlewood forest towers overhead. It's a state park you may have missed called Golden Falls. It is at the end of a very long and at a certain point, fairly narrow and winding county road that ends in the state park, but it is passable. Unassuming parking lot with a restroom and then some trail signs. The trail is flat and an easy hike for one third of a mile until you could hear that roar and you could hear those falls. At 254 feet, Golden Falls is among the tallest waterfalls west of the Willamette River. Its spray and sound will leave you breathless. Just like everything you'll experience at the Shangri-La near the sea. There's just a big variety. Everybody can find something to do here. Or not feel like they have to do something. Just be. Near Coos Bay with photographer Jeff Kastner. Grant McComey, KGW. Wow, that is the perfect setting to <laughs> just be. Grant has all the details, directions, and contact info on the Grant's Getaway page on KGW's website. And be sure to watch Grant's half-hour program of Grant's Getaways. The show airs each Saturday and Sunday right here on KGW. Well, thanks so much for joining us today.